Good afternoon. This is Sev Prasad from KBN College. Today we will discussing about the data mining query languages. So what is meant by data query languages? Before that we are discussing about the what is meant by data mining. So data mining is the process of discovering knowledge from different types of patterns. Suppose we would like to extract the information from large data sets. So this is the one of the data mining process. So with the help of this data mining process, we have the using in the different types of applications are involved into the number real time. So in that, what are the real time applications are existing? So in the nowadays, so, so many applications are existing. That is the one of the big, big is healthcare. So this is one of the applications because of in the healthcare industries they are using the data mining applications because of they are maintaining the different types of techniques are applying. So what are the techniques are applying? So one of the technique is classification and regression. So with the help of these techniques the applications are achieving. So what why we are going for the data mining query languages? These are specialized usages to use to retrieving and manipulating data into the data mining systems so that is the difference of data mining and data mining query languages we have applying the queries what type of queries the user he can retrieving and manipulating the data so already we have using the different types of databases so in that we can for retrieving the information purpose we can using the sql structured query languages why we are going for the data mining query languages that means we are extracting the information from large data sets and that we have the retrieving and manipulating the data into the data mining systems that's why we go for the data mining query languages so these languages are structured that is the way to interact with the data mining models and algorithms so with the help of these we can achieving the query languages how we can query to we can performing so already we have seen about the structured query languages so in the structured query languages are used to manipulating and querying with the databases including the data mining some of the operations at the same time we can also using the MDX multi-dimensional expressions is a query language specially designing for queries and analyzing multi-dimensional databases at the same time we can also using the R that is the R is a programming language commonly used for the statistical and analysis and mining task we are offering so actually R is the one of the programming language this is also one of the tools of the data mining already we have discussing the previous sessions data mining tools are nowadays are available that is the open source tools are Veka and R is also open source tools so this is also commonly we can using into the query languages we can because of the, the statistical records preparation purpose we can using for data mining what is the use of use for SQL for data mining SQL offer set of extensions known as SQL or MM because of structured query languages multimedia and application packages to supporting data mining operations the data mining functions are SQL including into the classification clustering association rule mining and outlayer detections and what is meant by classification classification we have the process to identify so what are the similarities that means it can be different what are the grouping of the objects and grouping of the classes and whatever the clustering clustering is the process of the identifying and similar qualities are existing between the objects and we are applying the association rule minings and outlier detections the SQL based data mining query languages are provides content to way integrating data mining task within the existing data by base systems because of the the day structure query languages so with the help of sql we can extract the information from database systems so in that we can performing the different types of queries we can performing what about the mdx for data mining mdx is nothing but the additional features are specially trialing the olap 
So online analytical processing, it is the powerful construct for querying and manipulating the multi-dimensional data cubes. Because of the we are in data mining concepts, so we have using the multi-dimensional data cubes. Because of the existing information, we have maintaining the cubes. Why? Because the databases, we are maintaining the databases tables. But in the data mining, the like data warehouses concepts, we have maintaining the data cubes. The MDX, it will be supporting the data mining techniques that will be supporting the time series analysis and decision tree mining. Are for data mining. Or is the one of the programming language it will be supporting into the it will be importing the libraries and packages that is the dedicated to data mining and machine learning for using for data. So what is meant by this algorithm? These algorithms are our programming language. It can be achieving the statistical reports preparation with the help of the different types of algorithms, association rule mining algorithm, classification, regression, and clustering. These are the, with the help of these are all algorithms. The R it can be using. So what are the advantages of data mining query languages? The data mining query languages are main advantages and the syntaxes. Why? Because structured query languages mainly depends on the syntaxes. Suppose we can create the table. What the syntax? Create table, table name along with the fields. We can write it. Suppose we can create the database. Create database, database. This is the one type of syntax we are following because of so in our databases or data warehouses and in any we can using compulsory we are following the syntaxes. So that is the standard syntax we can achieving. So at the same time integration, the language it will integration of the data mining existing database systems. Suppose I want to the add a, integrate the different types of databases system. Suppose student database systems, master database. These two databases are we have the combining by using the integration concepts. Next at the same time we can also extendability. The data mining query language can be extendable, user friendly user defined functions and algorithms. So with the help of this, we can achieve it. So what are the limitations? Why? Because any one of the query languages, so some of the limitations are there. So those limitations are we have seen. So complexity, complexity is the one of the limitation. Why? Because some of the data mining query languages are so designing and advanced analytics and it can be stepped to the learning curves. So that is the one of the complexity that is the limitation and performance depending on depending on the complexity and the operations and the data set size the data mining queries can be computation intensive that is the limiting scope so these are the limitations of the data mining query languages let's see the one of the examples of data mining query language in action so sql based data mining query language analyzes the performance and patterns to identify potential cross selling opportunities because of the, the customer purchase patterns to identify why because the data mining we it using the real world applications so already we have seen in the real world application healthcare is the one of the applications that is the real estate real uh, retail industry is the another type of application these are so many applications are existing in the, our real time so those real times with the help of SQL based data mining query language to analyze the customer purchase patterns to identify potential class selling opportunities. So how many customers are there purchasing? How many customers are there identify? These types of things can be using. So at the same time, you employ R for sentiment analysis on social media data. Because of with the help of R, so we have the using and also we can using the uncovering the insights about the customer opinions and preferences. So these are the so many applications, so many examples we can take about the these types. So best practices using data mining query language, understanding the specific capabilities and limitations of the chosen data mining query language, optimizing query performance of the indexing relevant data using opportunity and query optimization techniques. So these are the data mining query languages. And also, thank you. Thank you.